Deeps no herbology profession. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Actually, perhaps another time. It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. Hello, Deke. I have some questions for you. Thank you. I'll get... Wonderful. Good luck.
I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look... Actually,
Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganweld potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills, just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Thought we'd forget him and that goblin helm you nick. You're the most soft and safe Treadwell. No. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. <laughs> clumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Serona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hawk clumps while I'm there. Better have a look around, see about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. Ah, that's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether.
was a close one. Revenia. This must be Sirona's box of letters. I should take this... I think that's everything. Sirona will be glad to have this back. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'll fix him, that charm grinder. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our Herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool, he's passionate about things too, as I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? I'm not sure this is something a student should be doing on your behalf. Oh, it's nothing. And he deserves it. Trust me. He'll be in and out of there in no time. Very well. You've convinced me. Marvellous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. 
Seems I need to find Mr. Lolly's cellar. Rebellion. Hello, Serona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wiganweld potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. This must be it. This must be the cellar. Now, to find that venomous tentacular. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Hello, Mora. Venomous tentacular. Revelia. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Revenia!
completed that errand for me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Ha! Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself. But I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Uncle Roland would never leave me to worry like this.
must be nice to not have anything to fret about. I hope Adelaide's uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Could this be Mr. Oakes's camps? Anrog's loyalists, just ahead. Hmm, should I take them by force or be discreet? What's going on? Oh, little moon calf. In Pringle. Oh, Your <laughs> spells glance off of me. I'll bury you in the deepest vault. I won't rest. I've been fighting. <laughs> 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 Mr. Oakes's trade journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. A rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now, to find the crooked tree. You. You. Shall we finish what we start? Avoiding our problems. One less poacher in the wizarding world.
Revelio. Castle must have been quite stately in its Confringo Revelio. I was never locked up here. That was meant for me.
What will we find in here? Revelio. I can be used for better things than this so-called. What's that? Confringo. I won't rest. Sender. Dead. Tego. Instincts were spot on. Revenia. Hello, Hamora. A human's word is worthless, but this prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. Build magistrates won't distract me! It's the student from the town! Green door. How to open it? I was right. I won't rest until you're dead. You've been paying attention in defense against the South Down, Percy. I've run rock to Blavenia.
Velia. Revenue. Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oaks' wand. Where could it be? Revenue.
Medio. This must be Mr. Rooks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin you're either very lucky or very talented well, how did you find me i'm a friend of adelaide's she was worried about your business with ranrock's loyalists oh she was right to be i couldn't go through with the agreement and when i told them i ended up blindfolded and behind bars been locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. If only. I'm having. I. Oh. oh. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. <laughs> 